Well, good Thursday morning to you. Um, hopefully you had a, a good day yesterday. Um, by the time I got home, I was I was pretty tired and uh, had been out late the night before, but uh, got some rest, feeling pretty good today, getting ready to leave here and, and uh, go to the office and then make a couple of visits. But um, I was thinking this morning as I woke up uh, and through the night, there's a song that came to my mind and I'm going to attempt to sing it for you here in just a minute. Um, there's a uh, facility that I went to before all this happened, and they brought me a songbook. Now, if you see this book, um, this is not the one that we usually use at our church, but this is one that I've seen before, and of course it's got a lot of the same hymns. But it has some different ones as well, and so just scanning through there, I found one I'd like to share with you, um, just a song best loved songs and hymns so it may not be a hymn but it's a song and i was thinking in the book of james where james is writing and he says uh if there be any sick among you let them call on the elders of the church and um, they will pray over them anointing them with oil if there be any um sin committed unto them it shall be forgiven them and he goes on to say that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much, which is just simply saying the effectual, the uh, fervent, the earnest prayer, which is more than just a throw one up, uh, more than just a, oh, God, help them, but uh, truly from the heart. Um, and spending time. And if you do that on your knees, or if you do that sitting on your couch or in your uh, vehicle, wherever it is, it is the condition of the heart when that prayer is said. And then of a righteous man. Now notice it doesn't say of a self-righteous man, as we know that uh, that's not going to work, but of a righteous man. Well, what makes us righteous? What can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So we've been seeing a lot of folks posting that they're praying for other people. And so I just want to remind you that uh, uh, the first prayer we probably should pray every morning and every night is a prayer for ourselves. God, if there's anything that we've done or said, please forgive us and then go on to pray for the others. But that is a link to God. Reading the Word of God uh, has been said that is God speaking to us, and us praying to Him is us speaking to Him. Now, do we always have to be praying and talking to God? Have you ever been around a child who just <laughs> keeps saying, uh, Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Uh, hey, Nana. Hey, Poppy. And they're always talking, always talking. And that's kind of funny at a certain uh, age when they do that, but if they're talking, always talking, they're not hearing anything that's being said. And so uh, I would say that praying, reading the Word of God, or listening to uh, preachers, and listening to music, or singing yourselves, those kind of things, and then especially praying. Praying for you and praying that God helps those around you. Uh, you and I both know that uh, there is not one thing we can do um, to physically stop uh, this, the, uh, the virus that is here. We can't stop it. Now, they say we can slow the spread, maybe not spread it. Maybe you're in your home and you haven't come out and, and there's no chance of you getting it or spreading it. And that's fine. But still, for the rest of the world, we can't stop it. But we know one who can. So what do we do? We pray to him. And we just pray, God, whatever your will is, has this drawn people closer to you? Uh, I would say that it has. Um, some people say, surely this is not something God did. However you look at it and whatever you think about it, you cannot argue with the fact that this is something God allowed. Maybe this is not a judgment from God. But God did allow it. And if he allowed it, let's take the time that he's allowed us to have while we have the time to slow down, think about our friends, think about our families, um, 
um, give them a call, write them a letter, however it is you contact them. But most of all, talk to God. Pray. Pray for them. Pray for yourself. And uh, pray uh, that God encourages them, keeps them safe. And I'm going to sing you this song today. And, and you maybe have heard it before years ago. Uh, it is a song that was sang probably more often. I've heard it uh, sang by bluegrass groups. And of course, I heard Ricky Skaggs sing it years ago as well. But we'll see uh, what we can do with it. Daniel prayed. Daniel did pray. Three times a day, he would open up his window and pray, and um, God did hear him. So this is what I woke up with this morning, so let's see how we roll here. I heard about a man one day who wasted not his time away, he prayed to God every morning, noon and night. He cared not for the king's degree, but trusted God to set him free. Oh, Daniel, pray every morning, noon and night. Old Daniel served the living God while here upon this earth he trod. He prayed to God every morning, noon and night. He cared not for the king's decree, but trusted one to set him free. Old Daniel prayed every morning, noon and night. They cast him in the lion's den because he would not honor men, but he prayed to God every morning, noon and night. Their jaws were locked, it made him shout. God soon brought him safely out. Old Daniel prayed every morning, noon and night. Old Daniel served the living God while here upon this earth he trod. He prayed to God every morning, noon and night. He cared not for the things of Baal, but trusted one who never failed. Old Daniel prayed every morning, noon and night. Oh, brother, let us watch and pray like Daniel lived from day to day. He prayed to God every morning, noon and night. We too can gladly dare do the things of God. He'll take us through, old Daniel, pray every morning, noon and night. Old Daniel served the living God while here upon this earth he trod. He prayed to God every morning, noon and night. He cared not for the king's decree, but trusted one to set him free. Old Daniel prayed every morning, noon and night. All right, folks, God bless you and have a great day.